<clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm using my webcam off of my laptop to do this next video to show you what I use to do my blogs with or vlogs. This is the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. And you put your cell phone right in here, turn it on, and it all over the place in it. It's a cell phone gimbal stabilizer. Now, I'm going to talk about an experience I had. It's not ghostly per se, but it's a dream that felt really freaking real. Give me one second and we'll go. All right. From the time I was 12 years old till I was 14, I was in a boys' home in a little city called Cameron, North Carolina. Now, if you're a fan of wrestling, you might recognize that city because that is where the Hardy Boys grew up. And the camp that I was in just so happened to be right across the street from where they lived. So, we had a counselor there. His name was Craig, and he was from New York. And he would tell us stories about other places that he worked where they had experiences with the paranormal, so to speak. It was a Christian retreat camp. So it was by the Baptist, Baptist Children's Homes on North Carolina. Well... He proceeds to tell us a story about a dream he had one night. And I had the exact same dream probably four years ago. And I'll tell you how the dream goes. I was in this room that was kind of like a, um, a hospital waiting room. And I was, uh, the lights were kind of dim. It was like, a, you know, kind of like this. There was a light, but in some areas it was dim. Well, everybody around me were friends co-workers, family, what, whatever, and they were all celebrating, kind of like there was a party going on, but, you know, there wasn't no, no drinking or anything like that going on, it was just, everybody was celebrating and hugging and whatnot, and I see this door off to my right, and it had a window about this big, in it. And I go up to the window in the door, and it's like it's a hospital waiting room. It's like a hospital gurney, almost uh, a bed where they do surgery on you at, or a bed where they do autopsies. It was chrome. There wasn't no sheet, but there was one sheet covering, which happened to be one of my friends. And I peered into the window. Like this, trying to see what was in there. And my friend looked over at me and got up off the bed and walked to the window. And he looked straight through the window at me with this, I want to say it was a, uh, The feeling that it gave me had me shaking. I mean, I've I rarely ever get scared watching movies or anything like that. But I was trembling. My knees were about to buckle. I mean, I, I felt like I couldn't move. And he looks at me and says, "Why didn't you tell me?" 
Why didn't you tell me, Richard? And he walks away. Lays back on the table again. And I'm not a very religious person. I try try to be. I believe that there is a God and there's a heaven and hell. And I believe my dream was about heaven and hell. I believe that the hospital waiting room area was like heaven. And the door where my friend was was hell. I'm not going to say that this is going to be a religious video. I'm not going to try to deter you from what you believe in or anything like that. But if you do believe in God or whatever you believe in, afterlife, what have you, tell people. Let them know that you care. Because if you don't say something, if you don't say anything, then they lose out. So that was my experience with that. <clears throat> um, probably later on this week, after work or so, I'm going to talk about another video, another experience I went through. And we're going to go from there. I'm trying to make this a whole Hollywood, uh, Halloween inspired videos for the month of October. So there's five more days to Halloween. Like, subscribe to my channel if you like. Please comment, tell me what I've done, tell me I'm stupid or I'm an idiot or what have you. I can take criticism. I've been married. Thank you guys.